Hey everyone, it's Bob Perkins, Chief Strategy Officer with Crystal Knows, bringing you another episode of Know Your Buyer. And I'm here today with Jackie Leahy, who is the founder of Activate the Magic. I know you focus on RevOps, but today we're going to talk about a little bit about personality types. And sometimes uh, if you're a sales rep, and let's say you have a strong personality and you're a driver type, and then you're prospecting to maybe someone who's introverted, and that can be a real problem. So you have a couple of tips, things you want to share today for the viewers. Yes. Hi, Bob. So I am an extroverted, warm, energetic, enthusiastic human, and I tend to overpower with all of my energy. And so when I'm interacting either in a meeting with a client or friendship or the biggest one, prospecting, and I'm interacting with someone who's more reserved, more logical, more analytical, it is so important for me to pause, breathe, and go forward with some consciousness here. So first I like to do exactly that. Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> make some space. Yeah. Right? yeah. Make some space for myself and be responsible for my energy. It's a blessing and a curse. So I get to be responsible with it and understand that the person across from me, they're not persuaded by enthusiasm. They care more about competency and quality. And if they have a little bit of D in them, they might even be motivated by challenge. In situations like that, I like to open up with a question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that displays my competency. Because I don't want to come in with, oh, I'm an expert in this. I want to say, what is your plan for extracting metadata from your contracts? That's and yeah. Yeah, no, a great tip. But you said something earlier, you come in very strong and you're talkative. And someone with a lot of drive and a lot of energy can actually be a stressor for yeah. someone who's introverted and they're going to, they're going to struggle with that. So you want to come in a little bit softer, a little bit more space. And I love this idea about a question that's going to evoke some curiosity and maybe an opinion by that type of personality. Yeah. Yeah. It's like when you have a puppy and an older dog, <laughs> Like the dogs, will you please put the puppy in the other room? Like it's too much it's coming in too hot, yeah. uh, and you're just gonna have them clam up and walk away. But when you tiptoe in <laughs> and lead with that question, lead with that competency and curiosity, that's speaking their love language, right? They spend their day in their mm -hmm. head thinking through things and analyzing, and they enjoy interacting with other people who are yeah. the same way. Yeah. And there's sometimes that if you don't have the ability to know someone's personality ahead of time, which sometimes you don't, yeah. uh, and you get in the middle of a call and you find, boy, this person is just clammed up. This could be the issue. Do you have any tips for if you're in the call and maybe the intro goes okay, but you're finding the person is just like clamming up there and not really giving out any information, a tip for that situation? Yeah, got it. I'd probably pause yeah. <laughs> because they're probably five or six sentences behind you trying to catch up, <laughs> pause and ask them a question. Yeah. And depending on what you're selling or what you're talking about. So tell me, what are you working through right now? What's on your desk right now? What are you working through? Yeah, um, I really like that. I like pausing, slowing down a little bit and really asking a question that's going to have them think a little bit deeply about a certain topic. Now you have to be prepared with questions. So yeah. if you think you might be calling or meeting with someone that is on the maybe the other side of the disc wheel, more introverted, maybe in the C space there, if you know the yeah. disc wheel, might be a little bit risk adverse. Do some of your homework, find out what they do. What's the role? Are they managing? Are they in a certain technological space. And from there, you can craft some questions that'll get them maybe to open up a little bit. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I have no shame about having a cheat sheet in front of me. Like yeah. even I'm discertified and I still have this. Yes. It's a good kind of touchstone reminder. And depending on what I'm selling, do an exercise of how might you talk about what it is that you sell to the different types of communication styles in their love language. And a really great way to do this might be with people who work at your own company. 
So maybe pull someone in product or finance and interact with them, ask them to help you work on your phrasing. This is great. You mentioned love language a couple of times here. Explain to the viewers what you mean by love language language yeah there's the love languages of like quality time and (laughs) gifts and words of affirmation but I look at love language in interpersonal dynamics as stretching into the other person's communication style and speaking their language it's the same thing I do when I'm at a restaurant and I hear people speaking in Spanish I'll be like (laughs) 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 in Cavada like yeah. Pleasure to meet you. I'm never going to be fluent <laughs> in the love language of like a, a DC, like that challenge. It's never going to be my home base, but right. I can stretch into it. And it's much appreciated when you're on the other side. I like your ideas of jotting down some questions ahead of time. So you're not, you're not caught off guard if someone tends to be a different personality type or a certain personality type. So that's really good. Great tips today. And today our scenario was more of a outgoing, possibly a D type, a driver type personality, speaking with someone that's introverted, maybe a little skeptical, quiet. And you gave a couple of tips, slow it down, pause, make space, and then figure out a couple of questions to ask them to think about something that is important to them that they'll open up a little bit. Really good advice. And maybe we'll do this again and We'll flip the script a little bit and we'll have an introverted salespeople. <laughs> There's some wonderfully great introverted salespeople out there. They really are. Uh, and they can be great salespeople. Maybe talking to someone who's extroverted and what how they can speak their love language a little bit. So uh, Jackie, stay tuned. Thanks, so thanks a lot for joining us today. And we'll talk to you soon.